first, fast, accurate. You're watching WSBT 22 News, first in the morning. All right, do you want to hear answers regarding your burning questions about your health and your family's health? Well, next week, IU School of Medicine lectures begin. It's something that they've been doing for many years and is very popular. This morning, we have Gail Mancini, spokesperson with IU School of Medicine. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having us. I, you know, we've been talking about some of the topics that are going to be discussed during the series this year. Very interesting things. Right. Right. In all 19 of our years, what we've really tried to do is identify topics that um, you might have been reading about um, in the past year. So they're both very relevant and kind of pressing, beginning on Wednesday at 7 p.m. at the medical school with a, a lecture by child psychiatrist Ben Troy, who is going to try to identify for us what a typical teenager <laughs> is. If there's such a meaning, thing. Meaning, <laughs> you know, we yeah. all struggle. If we had teenagers, we all struggle about whether or not this kind of difficult time of life was normal. And that will allow him then to discuss maybe possible red flags. But also, because we have a long question and answer period, 45 minutes after the presentation, people will be able to talk about things like cyberbullying or what about Facebook, you know, anything you want to ask to turn off the television television or not turn off the television. Um, he, he, his lecture begins at 7 p.m. on Wednesday. And, and the great thing about all of these lectures is that they'll, they'll present their, um, their lecture and right. then question and answer. So like you said, you can ask whatever right you know you want really and it's a great way to get information that's pressing to your family right right this has been the best thing about the lectures at the medical school we realized that um, the doctor patient relationship is a very difficult thing to develop but good information is at the core of it so this is kind of a neutral place to come and talk um, to a leading expert um, about something that that you can that helps you prepare to talk to your own specialist so, for example, the next lecture is about eye health, and that question, um, should babies wear eye gl uh, sunglasses? I don't know yet because <laughs> I haven't heard Lou Cantor talk, but he is one of Indiana's leading ophthalmologists and the head of the Glick Eye Institute at the IU School of Medicine, and he's coming up next Monday at 7 p.m. to talk about eye health for life. If you have problems with glaucoma, if you're worried about macular degeneration, he knows all about the aging of eyes, but we hope he'll talk about, you know, what might happen with your own little children to keep them healthy. And you know, you mentioned earlier that these are all topics that are relevant for what is going on. One of the topics in there about infectious disease. I can't think right. of anything in the world and in the country right. that is more of a hot button issue in exactly. a way than that. Right. So at 7 p.m. on April 1st, that'll be our last lecture. Meredith Weirman, who is on the St. Joe Medical Center staff, this is a special interest of hers. And you know, she's very aware that we've all been paying attention to Ebola or that 10 years ago it was all about AIDS, AIDS, AIDS all the time, but she is a little bit more concerned with um, um, antibiotics and the fact that um, bacteria is becoming drug resistant and, and really the fact that we all now are negotiating our way in a world that has some infectious disease um, concerns. So You might yeah. also ask her about measles and, and vaccinations, those kinds of things? I think she would be on hand for any of those sort of things. So, If people want more information about when these lectures are and whether or not they're able to participate, where do we get that information? So you can go to our website, which is medicine.iu.edu backslash South Bend all one word. Okay. Um, and then we're running ads in the in the South Bend Tribune that'll that'll keep people up. There's information in that regard and on most of the community calendars. But the lectures begin on Wednesday. It's rare that Dr. Cantor is speaking next Monday. They're usually Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. But okay. it's Wednesday, Monday, and then we even have an organ donor person um, coming in and a specialist on kidney disease. Of so. course, we'll put a link to this. Terrific. on our Facebook page so that our viewers can easily access it. Terrific. Gail Mancini with IU School of Medicine. Thank, thank you so thank much. You so we much. appreciate it. WSBT 20